so I finally made the decision that I was going to cut my hair and this is an action of you know self-love and self-care because I don't want to tie myself out looking after it anymore. Every time I think I've made the decision to go for it someone messages me on Twitter or on Instagram and says don't do it don't cut your hair and then I'm like oh no because I I think because they're saying that that backs up my fears and anxieties about cutting my hair and I also don't want to let people down so it's like double whammy but I'm I'm gonna do it. So I booked it in with headmasters, it was all raring to go, like today, right now, I was due to be having it cut and dyed, and then yesterday they called to say, I'm sorry, the girl that took your appointment shouldn't have been taking appointments, we made a mistake, there wasn't an appointment free, so we can't do it. And so I called around all the other places to see if they could fit me in, and obviously it was too late, and I needed it done this weekend for blog pictures which I was aiming to take on Monday. I just I'd mentally prepared myself so much that it was going to happen today so I felt so gutted to find out that it had been cancelled. So anyway when I woke up this morning I rang around again to see if there are any cancellations and there weren't but um, a headmaster's Anisha said we have a gap where we could cut your hair but we can't colour it so I was like okay we'll do that so I get 50% of the process done at least. And then an hour later, she calls back saying, oh, sorry, made a mistake because they booked an appointment for one of their staff that is actually pregnant and needs a break at that point. So it actually wasn't a free appointment slot. So they've now delayed it by about three hours and said, come in then. So long story, not very short. <laughs> I am en route to Headmasters Anisha soon to get the chop. So it's the next day and I've literally had to do nothing with my hair, I haven't had to wash it, I've literally just put my fingers through it and it's still kind of okay, so already it's a bit of a revelation. So in about an hour I'm heading back to the salon to have the, the colour applied today. I'm feeling a bit unsure because I actually don't mind it, I'm still a bit ginger, but the good thing is if I go blonde, because it's going to be so light. I can put tints on it whenever I fancy, so if I want to go back gingery I can do that, if I want to go blue, if I want to go green, if I want to go pink. So I think blonde is a good way to go and because I'm a natural blonde it will mean that roots won't be an issue or anything like that. So, and so far so good on the verdicts. I've only shown my parents, Sai, who I think he seems to like it, I hope he's not lying, he seems to like it, and my friend Holly, they're the only people that have seen it so far and they all prefer it so hopefully you guys won't think I've made a huge error. So it is what day is it? Monday? <laughs> no, yeah it is Monday. <laughs> no. <laughs> Terrible days. Um, <laughs> and we are on our way to see Placebo. You excited? Mm-hmm. So on at Brixton Academy. And I think it's like an anniversary tour gig type thing so we should have a lot of the greatest hits. We're going to play some Cure Morning. Cure Morning every year, every morning. Uh, what's that song that sounds like cereal? Special K. <laughs> is it actually called Special K? Yeah. It is, isn't it? Yeah. That's weird. Um, what else? Oh, Black Eyed. I want. Nancy Boy. Yeah. Uh, um, every Me, Every Year. Is it 30 every year, every Degrees? Me. I like that one. Loads, loads. Should be good. Oh, plenty.
So it's, I'm not good at remembering what day it is. What day? It's Tuesday, yes. So last night was the placebo gig. And they're undeniably an amazing band. They were incredible, musically so tight and every song sounded very iconic and epic and very rich and full. But unfortunately, um, Brian's been struggling with his voice recently. I don't know if you saw on Twitter that, you know, so I need to shush, Amanda Holden's talking a bit too much. Um, yeah, they had to cancel some gigs because they really wanted to make sure they could do the Brixton one. Um, and he said during sound check um, to, last night, um, he realized that his voice hadn't really recovered. So we, we got a gig and Brian was singing, but it was quite like monotone and almost spoken word because he couldn't attempt to do a lot of the higher notes and quite a lot of his songs go have a higher register. So we missed out on quite a lot of the classic melodies of the songs and got a bit more of toned down versions, but I'm still glad they put on a show and they did the best they could and still one of my favorite bands. Why am I so out of breath? Okay, and so this is her day two. I've not had to shower or do anything. Loving the low maintenance so far. It feels like such a treat and a luxury. Um, so Sai's si about to go to work, um, but my friend Holly is free, so we're going to run some errands we need to run, and then maybe go and take some blog pictures, um, get some fresh air and that sort of stuff. She started a blog too, so she wants some pictures and Instagram content, so it's nice to have a local buddy who has similar things to do. I need to put my arm down. <sighs> Right, I was trying to get you a nice shot of the trees guys, but it's officially ended the nice um, orangey tones now But instead I'll say where I am and who I'm with So I'm oh what's happened here? <laughs> so I'm in the car with Miss Holly Knott. She's in a lovely smart car um, And we're just gonna go to somewhere in Epsom. What's it called? No, we're going somewhere in Cheam. We're going oh, to Nonsuch Park. Nonsuch Park and we're gonna take some nice autumnal pictures for our Instagrams and stuff. My arms look really long <laughs> in, in this video. I think it I think this is like slightly um what do you call it? Fish islands. Oh, okay. So I think on the ends, if you're on the end of the shot you're gonna be elongated. Look at those long arms. Absolute daddy long legs. So, <laughs> so on the right coming up is my college. Oh. Where I studied art and design and I got my foundation. Oh. And it was very Oh, oh, memories! Oh, I haven't driven past it in so long. Hey. Holly's giving me a right tour of her childhood today. <laughs> it's nice. Been to two pharmacies because I'm <laughs> being really spoiled. <laughs> so now we are coming into Epsom. Mm. And this is where I worked for four years as an assistant at Rush Hair Salon. Oh yeah, plug. <laughs> <laughs> so Holly's just found a tree that she used to climb on when she was 10 years old and this is the first time she's seen it since. And she found it in this whole massive place which is a bit weird. <laughs> Look there's a it's like a little heart that's etched into it. But I remember what, years ago it used to be super kind of defined. Yeah. And now it's obviously faded. <gasps> like we have. <laughs> God. Are you going to climb on it? I feel like we need to get a picture of you on the climbing tree, don't we? Yeah. yeah. I remember the, the, the method in which I used. Oh, she's still got it. Still got it. Sit! Queen of the woods. And I used to just sit up here <laughs> on, on the heart. Oh, happy as Larry. Right, I'm going to take pictures now, so bye okay. video. So we're just having a little bit of a pit stop, so I've got some carrot cake and my beloved Coke. <laughs> Well, he's gone for popcorn, <laughs> why not? And the peppermint tea, and we are surrounded by dogs. So we are very happy. I see a wagon tail right over there. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi, I keep forgetting that I'm attempting to do vlogs for you guys. I can't remember what the last thing I said to you was, but I had a really nice day with Holly, just did a gentle walk, so I felt like I didn't push myself too hard. I've not done too much work, I've kind of just done the bare minimum to get by. Do you know what, I've decided actually it's alright to do that sometimes. I don't need to push myself and do more than's asked of me all the time it's okay to do the bare minimum and maybe sometimes even less um that doesn't make sense there's nothing less than bare minimum is there well, i guess you can do nothing um anyway what am i going on about uh Cy is working till 2 a.m so i found in my experience i'm better off staying up um rather than going to sleep and being woken up at two because my heart rate is so fast when he wakes me up, I really struggle to get back to sleep. So I'm just going to stay awake, catch up on some things. And um, yeah, first up, I think, because I've got the bathroom to myself and I don't have to keep anyone company this evening. I'm going to get in the bath and finish watching what I'm watching on not Netflix, on Netflix, which is I'm watching Rain Man an old Tom Cruise, Dustin Hoffman movie, which I don't think I've seen before, which is really surprising actually, so yeah. Can anyone else keep their Epsom bath salts in a coffee jar or is that me? Anyway. Okay, so this is the first time that I've dried my hair since my haircut, so I'm really excited to see how fast it's gonna be. Hopefully really speedy. Oh, I'm balancing that on something very precarious. How weird that the hair stops there. <laughs> right, so I'm going to put some serum in it first to protect it because obviously it's got bleach in it now. So I need to look after that so it doesn't get frazzled. Quick brush through. That's already a lot easier <laughs> done. Pretty sure this is not a flattering angle. If you can't see anything, you shouldn't. blow dried straight in no time at all i probably won't ever wear it straight because i don't know so i says he thinks it will age me to wear it straight like i'll look a bit too um what's the word you like a teacher or something i can't remember what he said but but anyway so i'll probably usually like tong it a bit to get, make it a bit more beachy but there you go much quicker oh how exciting right my skin definitely needs a bit of TLC at the moment, so I'm going to switch on a meditation and have this on for 10 minutes. See you in a bit. <laughs> 